Oh. Oh, what? Brass instrument repair is an extremely delicate and specialized trade. So let's have a go at doing it ourselves. We have two major things to fix. One, this is the third valve slide. You should be able to slide this in and out with your finger. It was seized. I then broke the ring off it, trying to unseize it. So we're gonna have to solder the ring back on and get it unstuck. More importantly, this is the first valve. It broke in half. So I don't know how that happens because this is a big solder joint. We're gonna try and repair these. So what we're gonna be doing is soldering it together. I initially thought that instruments like this would be silver soldered. The name, as it implies, silver solder has actual silver in it. So a silver solder stick about this big is like 100 bucks. Looking into it, instruments are actually lead soldered together, which is this solder with lead, it's like 50% lead, 50% tin. It's way cheap, which is nice, and it's way easier to use. So it's a lot weaker, which would explain why stuff like this breaks. So nothing to it but to do it. For the last week, I've been dripping some penetrating fluid on the joints for the third slide. I'm just gonna pull it again. What I'm gonna do is feed a ratchet strap or something through it, so I've got something to pull that shouldn't damage it if it doesn't pull. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's try heat it up. This trumpet is made out of brass, and to stop the brass tarnishing and going green, it's got a clear coat on it. So you can heat it to a point, once it's too hot, it'll start to burn the clear coat. So I'll work it up to temperature slowly and see if we can get it to crack loose. It's making sizzling noises, it's probably my spit getting roasted inside it. Oh, wow, it's hot. <laughs> Surprised it didn't come off yet. What I might do is I'm gonna heat it and then I'm gonna put cold water on it and then heat it and cold water on it and see if we can break it loose. I'll do that at the sink over there. So I've just heated and cooled it a few times. We'll give it another pull, see if it wants to move. I don't think it's going to. <sighs> no, nope. we'll heat it a bit more, I guess. <clears throat> She's stuck. I can actually see solder from this little reinforcement joint starting to leak out because I'm getting it like too hot. I might try and solder the valve back together and we'll solder the ring back onto this and we'll see how we get on and try and pull this off at a later time. The main thing I need to fix is the valve because that's the thing that's stopping you playing it. You can play without that kind of, but valve. So we'll put this aside. So the first thing we need to do in order to solder this back together is remove the old solder. I'm gonna hold it in this lathe chuck. I found this chuck at the metal recyclers and after doing some research into the like branding and stuff on it, it was made in about 1900s. This chuck's about 120 years old and I found it at the metal scrap. Now we're not doing it up tight, it's just enough to hold it in place. This is a close up of the top of the part. I need to remove the old solder first. So I've got a damp rag and we'll heat it up until the solder is liquid and we'll wipe it off. So I'm having a bit of trouble getting the solder that's down in the groove out. The rag took the top of it off. What I'm gonna do is heat it up and then try and blast it out with compressed air. So here goes solder in your eye. Wow, that worked pretty well. I'll do that a couple more times and then wipe it and we should be good to go. So now that we've got the solder cleaned off this and I've cleaned the solder off the piece that goes on top of it, we need to double check the alignment. Now there's a small notch here that you can see. This notch needs to line up with the slot in this bit because basically this has to, these holes that go through it, these have to line up with the tubes on the trumpet. And it uses this little notch to engage it and this is part of the engagement as well. So we need to line them both up together. Before we do that, I've got flux. Whoop, doesn't fit in the camera. So basically this is an acid. We'll put it on here and it'll remove any oxide and stuff that's on there. If you're soldering with like normal lead solder, like for a circuit board or electronics, you see all that liquidy stuff that comes out of your solder? If you look at normal electronics solder under a microscope, you'll see it actually has a liquid like a gel core inside it. This solder for soldering like brass stuff doesn't have it, so we have to add it on ourselves. But we'll drop a bit on here, and then we'll heat the two up and put them together. So the way we're gonna do this is now they have flux on them, I'll put the top piece in place. It's a pretty nice tight fit. They're aligned correctly. Now all we have to do is heat it up and dab the solder on. It should flow around by itself. <laughs> We don't want to overdo it. I think that little touch on that side and a tiny bit on this side. Hopefully you can see in the video, as soon as I touched it, the solder sort of flowed straight around. We put a little bit more heat into it to make sure it's sort of gotten in underneath. And then we'll let it cool down and this should be good to go. That piece is soldered. We'll let it sit there and cool down naturally. You don't want to go dumping water on solder joints like this because it can make them crack. While that's cooling down, we'll re-solder the ring back on. So you can see our spot here on the slide where the ring has to go. We'll heat this up, wipe the old solder off with the cold rag like we did with the other piece. When this broke off, you can see it's gotten super bent so it doesn't quite sit down properly. 
We'll just try and squeeze this out flat with a pair of pliers first so we've got a nice surface area to solder to. And we'll heat this up and wipe the solder off it as well so we've got nice fresh surfaces. So I've got my damp rag here. We'll just clean the solder off this. Yeah, you can see there's the old solder coming off. What I think I'll do is I'll put it on here and I'll put a piece of stainless steel wire around it to hold it in place. And we should be able to do the same thing we did last time. Heat it, touch the solder on and it should wick the solder in and just sort of suck it in there and well, let's solder it back on. Bit of flux on there. Okay, that seems like it's held in place. It should just be a matter of heating it up and then putting the wire on. I bet you there'll be a burn mark on the clear coat from that stainless wire now that I think about it. After seeing how quickly the wire got hot. Cool, it just occurred to me, I wanted to solder this with this slide still on there because it'll hold the shape, but this gap here is actually where this slides out, so I couldn't get it off before, and hopefully I haven't just soldered it on there permanently. Pretty sure I haven't, doesn't look like the solder's gotten in there, and I didn't put flux in it, so it shouldn't, shouldn't have stuck. But once this cools down, we'll have another go at pulling that off. That's cooled down enough that I can touch it now. Cut the wire off. It does appear as though I have burnt the clear coat off it a little bit, but eh, it's the story of this trumpet. <laughs> it's um, it's pretty, I don't know if you can see in other spots, I did actually play this a fair bit and you can see it's pretty like tarnished where my fingers touched it and it's worn away. I know that's kind of like a bit of charm to it being worn down like that and I guess my repair on there sort of sort of adds to it. <laughs> now that my ring's soldered back on, it feels a lot more normal in my hand which is nice. I'm gonna give this another go, see if we can get the slide out. <laughs> Holy crap. Can't believe it's that stuck. I'll try heat it up a bit again, I guess. I'm about out of ideas though. <laughs> oh. oh, what? So uh, yeah, it was supposed to come undone there and there. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, that's not a good sign. The fact that I'm breaking original solder joints before breaking this loose, not good. What I might try and do, which I, oh, I'm going to regret this, I'm going to unsolder this little reinforcement and see if I can actually twist these two tubes and get them off. At this point I'm just trying to get it off because I don't want it to beat me, but I do actually want to play this, so I really don't want to break it because it's mine from like 15 years ago, but let's keep hitting it with the torch. Whoop. Hey, that wasn't too hard to get off. Now yeah, we'll unsolder the little locking thingy here. This is so you can set two little screws to adjust how far out it slides but obviously I'm not going to twist this bottom hose, this bottom tube with that in there so I'll have to take these off as well. <laughs> Whoa, there they go. Like this isn't, an, this, this isn't an expensive trumpet, I think it's, I looked it up, they're worth about, I don't know, two or three hundred dollars. This is probably the most effort that's been being put into a freaking two hundred dollar trumpet. Now that they're unsoldered, we'll heat it up and I'll try and twist this I guess. Uh, things are getting out of hand. I've completely unsoldered them, now they're separate tubes. Uh, I don't know what to do now, but at least I can try and put some WD-40 in them, see if I can loosen up whatever 100 year old spit is stuck inside them, holding them together. I hope I can put this back together, because it's about as apart as it's going to get. A breakthrough. I've got a 12.5mm drill bit in the tube, so you can't crush the tube. I've then got the lathe chuck tightened down hard on here to hold it. The problem was I couldn't grip it with anything because it's so thin it gets squashed. Because this drill bit is a nice tight fit in there, it was able to support it. You can see I've actually got this gap started to open up a little bit. Come on. The thing that sucks about all this is, one, everything's going to be covered in friggin' plier teeth marks now, which is a bit lame, but I can't really avoid that. The second thing is, this, you slide it with your ring finger, or your ring finger backwards and forwards, and I don't, there you go, ta-da, it's off. <laughs> I don't think it matters how nicely I get this put back together, I don't know if I'm ever going to get it smooth enough to use properly, but we'll keep trying. There's one removed, that worked, we'll try and do the same thing for this piece now. I've just given this a bit of a clean up with some scotch Bright. It's uh, nowhere near good enough that I'd be able to move it with one finger, but it does move. So, 
We're doing something right, maybe. There's probably someone that repairs instruments for a living, like pulling their hair out watching me destroy this, but it does move now. about whether this is the female side or this is the female side. Pretty sure this is the female one, so I'll heat up this side and I'll hold this side, but I might be wrong. I don't want to grab that any harder than that, because if I squash this, I'm stuffed. So I'm going to see if I can find something to put in this end of it to hold it. <laughs> More drill bits. Hey, it's moving. Out you come. Okay. Oh, wow, it's hot. Oh, the dribble came out. Ow! I can move with the pliers. It's definitely not loose enough that I can move it by hand. Come on. Oh. Hey. All right, let's clean this one up with Scotch Bright and see how smooth it is once it's clean. A bit of cleaning later on this one. Moves. This one. Stiff, but moves. I reckon. These are good enough, we'll be able to lap them in. So what I have to do now is solder this whole thing back together. What I want to do first is undo this. This is a spit valve, so when the trumpet fills up with your spit, you can push this and it all dribbles out on the floor and then gets absorbed by the carpet. It's got a little rubber foot on it. I'll unscrew that and take this apart and the spring will shoot across the room probably, but this will melt, so next step, I guess. So I've just been giving this a test fit back together. Everything seems to fit okay. Yeah, except the end of this, which was a circle and is now a hexagon because I killed it with some pliers, doesn't fit on there anymore. So, best fix is going to be jam a drill bit in it, I guess. Drill bit's around. I need this to be round. Give it a bit of a, a wobble. Oh, that's working. <laughs> that's working better than expected. They still slide. Yeah, still slides. Feet. Feet. There we go, look at that, like new. Okay, so I've just cleaned all the solder off all these bits, they're pretty hot still. But what we'll do now is assemble these in an order that they came off in. Yep, that goes there. I think we should be able to sit this all together and I'll slide all these little reinforcing pieces. They, whoa, that one's hot. I'll slide, slide these all into place and then we should be able to heat it up and it'll just add solder. Actually, i got to add flux to it, I'll add the flux first. We should be able to just heat it up and then sort of touch everything, heat everything up and then touch the solder to it and it should all solder back together solid like it was brand new again, but slightly more burnt looking. That is a common complaint I hear. People are like, I like my new trumpet, but I wish it looked like it was slightly more burnt. Hmm. This one goes on. We'll slide this little reinforcement thing in here. Up the top piece. And there's another little reinforcement thingy that goes in there. Oh, that looks good. And then we got this piece, which now fits because the hole it goes into is a circle and not a hexagon. The little adjusting thingies, I'll solder those on at the end because they'll need to be like wired on and stuff. This is all sitting as straight and as square as I can get it by eye, so I guess there's nothing left to do now than start soldering it. So here we go. just fell off. Okay, I'll have to do that again afterwards. Come on. Okay, so this is all soldered now. It's a bit of a mess, but it is all held together. A couple of problems. When I heated it up, my little ring fell off, which isn't too bad. I can solder that back on. But the little seal and the little thing, the pivot for the spit valve fell off. So I have to try and wire these on and then heat them up again. But I can see if this actually slides out now. I'm expecting it to be very stiff still because obviously it's got no grease or anything on it like it's supposed to have. I'll give it a pull, see if it moves. Yeah, much better. That's how that should have worked in the first place. So I will attempt to solder the ring and the little things back onto it, and then we'll give this another clean and grease it, and hopefully we can get it smooth enough that I can actually use it with one finger. So everything's wired back together except the little nub for the spit valve. I'm gonna try and hold this on with the pliers while I heat it up, because it's too small to put a wire around. Hopefully this should be the last bit that has to be fixed, and then my trumpet is good to go again. So it was a bit fiddly to get this little nub thing back on, but they're all on. We'll cut the wire off, see if it still moves. I haven't accidentally like soldered this solid or something stupid. It's a bit hot, but we're good. Now all the soldering is finished. All I need to do now is assemble it, like screw the valves and everything back in. 
this is obviously still too stiff. What I'm going to do is put some slide grease on it and see if it loosens up. I don't think it will, but if it doesn't, we'll lap it. Cool. So my guess is probably not, but we'll see if that's improved at all. Mm. Not really. So what I have here is valve lapping compound. Basically it's really fine grinding dust that you mix with some oil and you use it for lapping valves on engines. I think this might be a bit aggressive even using the finest one. So I have some teeth lapping compound. This has really fine particles in it as well. We'll start with this. If it doesn't work we'll use the more aggressive stuff but we'll start with the tooth compound and see if it works. If anything it might stop the whole thing smelling like burnt spit so that's a good start. Oh yeah. You can hear sliding it on. I don't know if it's on the camera, but you can hear it's like it's like crunchy sounding because it's grinding or it's got grinding particles in it. So I will slide this in and out for a few minutes and then see if it's improved at all. I'll just wash the toothpaste off, put some fresh valve grease on, see if it makes a difference. <laughs> Already? No, I can say it's... Oh, maybe it's improved it. It's definitely not good enough. So like the whole deal with this is you hold it like this when you're playing it, and I should be able to... I should be able to slide this in and out with this finger. Or maybe this finger. No, this one. I should be able to... Ah, I can't move. This should be able to slide in and out very smoothly. So on the back here, there's a thumb one. This one works fine. The front should work the same way. So onto the stiffer lapping compound, I guess. Okay. This one was really hard to get started and I'm surprised I didn't snap this little top thing off again. It's definitely loosening up so I'm keen to give it a few more and then we'll clean it and see if it actually moves like it's supposed to now. Alright, I've just, I've just cleaned it and greased it. Is it any smoother? It doesn't feel like it's any better. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah it's not good enough to use still but it's better. Okay, so I've just gone through Lapped it, cleaned it, lapped it, cleaned it, lapped it, cleaned it like a whole bunch of times. And then I polished it with 2000 grit on the inside. And now, it moves. So, that's, I can see there's still some black stuff coming out in here. So there's still dirt in the tubes. I'm going to assemble the valves because one of these valves has to be lapped as well because it was slow. And now after we do that, I'll bring it upstairs, put it in the sink and give it like a hot soap clean. And hopefully then, we're good to go. But, <laughs> this works now. I've never been able to move this with my finger. Even when it was new, like this one here, it's because it's a cheap trumpet, these were always really stiff. This I could move because my thumb is way stronger than my other fingers. This one now is actually smoother than the short one, which is nice. Okay, so I've got our first valve here. This is the one that we soldered. I've just cleaned it up with some wet and dry around where it was oxidized from the soldering. This is the bottom of the spring perch. We stick it in and there's a little piece that lines up with the, the notch at the bottom there to tell us which way around the valve goes. There's a spring that goes in it. We can screw the top of the valve in. This is the number one. It's got one stamped on it. So I'll just put a bit of oil on it and then we'll drop it in and we'll see if it... Um, I'm not expecting it to run perfectly smooth. It should run better than being snapped in half. So I put it down and then turn it till it clicks, which is there. That's where it's locked. So that's that little notch engaged. We can screw the top on. There we go. So, as I expected, it's not super smooth, but we'll we'll lap it in. But we'll chuck the other ones in there and see how the other ones see how the other ones go. Okay, so they're all in there now. They do all move. They're all slow because they've got toothpaste in them. The one I'd be most worried about is the number three one here because this is where we've been working. If we have put pressure on this, which we have, there's a good chance we could have deformed this tube so it's not round anymore. This one does go up and down. So I'm gonna press these for a little bit and um, work the toothpaste around and that should hopefully hone them so they're a bit nicer. I'm missing one of the little plastic top things, the mother of pearl, mother of pearl in inverted commas. So in another video, I might see if I can buy a piece of that and make a new one because that's been missing for years. But I'm gonna press these buttons and then we'll go give it a wash and see if it smooths up. Okay, I'm up in the kitchen now. We're just giving everything a wash in the sink, so I'll finish putting the spit valve back together, and then final assembly, see if all this work has actually improved anything.
So it's all back together, the valves all work. This is the third time, the third time, the first time since I've owned it that the third valve slide actually moves. Now the first valve slide that used to be the good one feels like the crappy stiff one. The second valve sticks a little bit on the way up sometimes, but I think it'll free up if I play with it a little bit. So now that it's been melted and then melted back together and then melted again, see if it actually sounds like it used to or still makes a noise. Cool, so sounds all right. I should probably learn how to play it now, but instead I'll probably back, put it back in the box and not touch it again for 10 years. But hopefully you liked the video. I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers. Um, none of the two videos are the same. They're all random stuff like this, so make sure you look at the rest of them. And hopefully you liked the video. I said that already. Put a comment in the thing. Tell me I ruined this because it's been fixed wrong. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.